several efforts to resettle 10,000 Syrian refugees right here in the United States. At least 30 governors now opposing this plan. 18 of them saying they won't allow it in their states. One of them joining me now, Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Governor, the White House just announcing a few moments ago that they're going to hold a conference call tonight with U.S. governors about the Syrian refugee situation. Do you know anything about this call and will you be on it? Uh, we look forward to speaking with the president's office about this because, uh, as you pointed out, more than half of the governors of the United States of America are, are putting the priority uh, on the safety of our fellow citizens as opposed to the president's priority, which is to relocate refugees from Syria. Uh, we are not going to tolerate, we are not going to accept any more refugees from uh, this dangerous zone of Syria into the state of Texas or into these other states uh, until the United States of America can ensure the safety and security. The FBI, as well as other federal officials, have made clear they have no ability to ensure the safety and security of the people who are the refugees they are admitting into the United States of America. It is irresponsible. Uh, for the states to be forced to accept these refugees. Okay. Well, so it's interesting because in doing a lot of research on what states have been accepting these refugees since 2012, Texas is number two on that list. Over 200 of those Syrian refugees have come to the state of Texas. So this is an about face now from you because of the Paris attacks? Exactly. And, and uh, first, one reason why Texas is frustrated is because uh, Texas has done more than its fair share in accepting refugees. Point one, point two, Texas has done more than its fair share uh, of accepting people that you've seen stream across our border. And we've seen the dangers of this in the state of Texas where we ha we've had three ISIS-related incidents already. And now with the possible connection uh, of one of the Syrian refugees being involved in the terrorism attack in Paris, Texas is saying no more. We will not allow any more Syrian refugees into the state of Texas. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see how many governors join this call tonight and, and what the White House tries to say because the other interesting point is that it's not all Republican governors. Right now there are at least three Democratic governors who are also very hesitant about this. So it's bipartisan at this point, at least in some sort of state, right? Well, it is both bipartisan and, of course, by the sheer number, it shows that it, it is about 60 percent of the governors of the United States of America. And so the president should be receiving a very strong message that the American people are against his position on admitting these refugees. And as also, as he pointed out, uh, the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives is calling on the president uh, not to move forward well, on this. Uh, this is a situation where all of America is saying, Mr. President, you right. have this wrong. Well, you have an obligation to keep Americans safe. Well, so, so what would have to change, Governor, for you well, to think that it would be safe for Texans to allow refugees in? As the FBI director has admitted, as other federal officials have admitted, uh, because of the inability uh, to establish good tracking information about the background uh, of the Syrian refugees, I would say it is impossible uh, for them to meet our standard, our criteria, to accept any further refugees. Okay. Uh, Governor Greg Abbott, thanks for being on The Real Story. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you, so, Greg. We just heard about some governors pushing.